हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजेक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बोज डेरिवेशन ऑफ प्लैंक्स ला लेट्स बिगेन हाउ वी डिराइव प्लैंक्स ला बाय यूजिंग बोज आइंस्टाइन स्टैटिस्टिक्स फ्रॉम बोज आइंस्टाइन स्टैटिस्टिक्स द एनर्जी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एवं द पार्टिकल्स द नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स in that of ith compartment is given as ni is equal to gi divided by e to the power alpha plus beta ui minus 1 we divide the entire system into k number of compartments whereas we take an ith compartment so the number of particles in that of ith compartment ni is equal to gi gi that ith compartment further divided into g number of elementary cells having equal size that is gi alpha beta are constants ui is the mean energy of the particles present in that of ith compartment as we derive planck's law what is planck's law planck's law basically use to show the black body radiations the black body radiation can easily explained by using quantum theory of planck's law and here we consider energy is uh, not continuous it is discrete and that discrete packet of energy is called quanta of energy or known as photon and each photon having the energy is equal to s nu s is the planck's constant and nu be the frequency what is uh, planck's law for black body radiations we elaborately discuss in upcoming videos here just a hint towards what is photon and uh, what uh, be the important role of photon in case of explaining black body radiation by planck's law okay as we say photon is that particle which are called bosons means they obey bose einstein condensation sorry bose einstein statistics and uh, these photons are having spin is integral multiple of pi so here the system consisting of photons as we taken photons for photons in that of system the constant alpha for photons will be zero why when we derive that statistical formula we consider the total number of particles within that of system is constant means the change in total number of particles that is dni summation over dni is equal to zero and alpha a constant is multiplied to that particular term means alpha into summation over dni is equal to 0 but it is a photons are not constant within that of system they are uh, created as well as destroyed means the number of photons vary in a particular system therefore that entire term 
आल्फा इंटू समेसन ओभर डी एन आई इज इक् नट इक्वाल टू जीरो देर फोर आल्फा मस्ट भी जीरो सो दैट कन्स्टाट विल भी जीरो फर फोटन नेक्स्ट द कन्स्टाट बीटा आज यूज वन डिडेड बै के एंड द एनर्जी यू आई यू आई इज इक्वाल टू एच न्यू दैट इज द क्वांट ऑफ एनर्जी दैट इज द एनर्जी ऑफ फोटन एनर्जी ऑफ फोटन सो द एक्सप्रेशन नाउ चेंज टू एन आई इज इक्वाल टू जी आई डिवाइडेड बाय ई टू द पावर आल्फा जीरो बीटा वन बाय के टी सो एच न्यू बाय के टी एच न्यू बाय के टी माइनस वन नाउ द नंबर ऑफ फोटन्स इन ए गिवेन फ्रीक्वेंसी रेंज कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड देर फोर द नंबर ऑफ फोटन्स लेइंग बिटवीन फ्रीक्वेन्सी रेंज न्यू एंड न्यू प्लस डी न्यू विदिन दैट फ्रिक्वेन्सी रेंज ह्वाट बी द नंबर ऑफ फोटन्स इज गिभेन बाय नंबर ऑफ फोटन्स एन न्यू डी न्यू एट द नंबर ऑफ फोटन्स विदिन दैट ऑफ फ्रिक्वेन्सी रेंज so it is written as g new d new divided by e h new by kt minus 1 from that expression let we calculate what will be the value of g new d new g new d new is the number of cells in that a particular phase space in the frequency range new and new plus d new that is the value of g new d new to calculate that one first we calculate the number of phase space in a given momentum range as we know that the number of cells in phase space in the momentum interval मोमेंटम इंटरवल पी एंड पी प्लस डी पी विद इन दैट मोमेंटम इंटरवल व्हाट वी द नंबर ऑफ फेस फेस सेल्स इज गिवन बाय वी नो इट सो जी पी डी पी नंबर ऑफ फेस फेस सेल्स विद इन दैट मोमेंटम इंटरवल इज गिवेन बाय फोर पाए भि पी स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय एच क्यू डी पी वेयर भि इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दैट एंटायर सिस्टम एंड एच क्यू इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वन यूनिट फेज स्पेस सेल एच क्यू दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर नंबर ऑफ फेज स्पेस सेल्स इन दैट ऑफ मोमेंटम इंटरवल but here we are dealing with photons so 
photons are electromagnetic transverse waves. Therefore, what happened? Therefore, they have two possible state of polarization, which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Means, two types of photons inside that enclosure, one of such uh, photons having left handed polarization and other photons are with right handed polarization. In this way, these photons are distinguishable with each other. Therefore, we can say that entire system is now divided into two such subsystems. Therefore, we can use both Einstein statistics individually to these two subsystems. That is why we write uh, it here. If we take into consideration both kinds of photons, then this number gets doubled, then this number gets doubled for the whole system for the whole system for the whole system the number of phase space cells within that of momentum range so gp dp will be two times of that quantity so, 2 is multiplied, it is 8 pi v p square divided by h q d p. For photon, for photon, the momentum, the momentum P is equal to H nu by C differentiating differentiating we get D P is equal to H by C D nu In place of dp, we use d nu and that uh, momentum range now changed to that of frequency range nu to nu plus d nu. So, what will be the number of phase space cells? Here g nu d nu is equal to. 8 pi v h q in place of p h nu by c. So, h nu by c whole square in place of d p that is h uh, by c d nu or g nu d nu number of phase space cells within that of frequency range is equal to 8 pi v divided by h q here h square nu square divided by c square h by c into d nu or g nu d nu is equal to h square h h q h q cancel out h q h square h cancelled out 
that expression 8 pi v c q nu square d nu that is equation number 2 so g nu d nu value is putted in that of equation number 1 therefore equation number 1 becomes therefore equation number 1 becomes the number of uh, photons within that of frequency range nu and nu plus d nu that is h nu d nu is equal to g nu d nu in place of g nu d nu we substitute its value 8 pi v divided by c q nu square d nu whole divided by e to the power h nu by k t minus 1 so n nu d nu is equal to 8 pi v nu square d nu divided by c q into 1 divided by e to the power h nu by k t minus 1 equation number 3 Planck's law is the expression for energy density of the radiation lying in between a particular frequency range so the energy density the energy density of radiation laying between nu and uh, nu plus d nu within this frequency range what will be the energy density of that particular radiation is given by which is e nu d nu that is the energy density means energy total energy divided by volume what will be the total energy associated with that uh, number of photons that will be the number of photons within that of frequency range so each of a photon having energy is h nu energy of each photon is h nu so there are uh, what will be the number of photons number of photons is n nu d nu so the total amount of energy associated with this number of photons is given as h nu that is the energy of each photon into the total number of photons within that of frequency range total number of photons n nu d nu divided by volume v now the energy density e nu d nu is equal to n nu sorry n nu d nu this into s nu so we write it as s nu into 8 pi v nu square d nu divided by c q into 1 divided by e to the power s nu by k t minus 1 whole divided by v or e nu d nu is equal to here v v cancel out v v cancel out 
8 pi c s nu by k t eight pi v nu square d nu s nu c q this much so eight pi h eight pi h divided by c q nu nu square nu q nu q d nu divided by e to the power h nu by k t minus 1 this is the Planck's law for black body radiation and that expression in terms of frequency this is the Planck's law for black body radiation in terms of frequency Planck's law in terms of wavelength then calculated the frequency nu is equal to c by lambda differentiating differentiating we get d nu is equal to minus c by lambda square d lambda in place of d nu we substitute that result we take another equation number 3 what signifies that negative sign negative sign signifies with the increase in d nu the change in wavelength d lambda decreases as we taken the energy density so we only consider the magnitude therefore equation 3 becomes energy density e lambda in terms of lambda e lambda d lambda is equal to in place of nu we substitute c by lambda so it will be written as 8 pi h divided by c q into nu q in place of nu that is c by lambda q d nu as we will consider the magnitude terms so that uh, negative sign is neglected it is written as c by lambda square d lambda into 1 divided by e to the power h uh, in place of nu c by lambda c divided by lambda k t minus 1 ok so e lambda d lambda is equal to 8 pi h c here c q c q cancel out only 1 c will be there divided by lambda to the power q lambda square lambda to the power fifth into 1 divided by e 
e to the power s c divided by lambda k t minus 1 into d lambda which is the expression for black body radiation in terms of lambda that is the Planck's law. This is the Planck's law of black body radiation in terms of wavelength Planck's law of black body radiation. So, here with the help of this video lecture we understand how we derive Planck's law by using Bose Einstein statistics Bose derivation of Planck's law from Bose Einstein statistics for photons, number of photons in that of frequency range, number of uh, phase space cell in that of momentum range. As we have taken two kinds of photons, two is multiplied within this. So, the equation 1 change to the expression for energy density in that of frequency range which is nothing the Planck's law for black body radiation in terms of frequency. Next Planck's law of black body radiation in terms of wavelength. Overall we derive Planck's law by using Bose Einstein statistics. So, with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session. Thank you.